Welcome to the EBAT tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about defensive play away from the table. There's a few things here that I can help you because you can't always stay close to the table. Sometimes you're going to go away from the table. So I'm going to give you three key elements to help you with your defensive play away from the table. Okay, tip number one is understanding the difference between three different strokes that you can play, three main strokes that you can play away from the table. Number one, you can chop. Number two, you can fish. Now what does fish mean or appling, some people call? It's when the ball's in an indecisive uh, height. It's in and around your head height when it bounces. So it bounces and jumps up to around this height. Now this makes it very difficult for the opponent to know whether to hit through the ball, smash it, or spin through the ball. And number three is a proper lob, which the ball goes up very high and kind of loops up in the air, bounces very high, way above your head. You decide to go away from the table and chop. The important part here is that you keep your chop low if you can. This will enable you to come straight back into the table and get back into a quick rally on top of the table. Having said that, you'll need to practice this stroke a lot. So I would suggest to just practice lots of chops. I'm gonna show you in a moment how to practice it. And hopefully in time, you will enable yourself to control the ball. And that could be one part of defensive play away from the table. The second thing you can be doing is fishing. Now this is where you let the ball drop a little bit low, meaning in and around table height or slightly lower, and you kick it with the wrist. Okay. Tip number three is high lobs, making the ball really go up high with lots of top spin, nice and deep. He's too short. Need to grow, son. <laughs> He doesn't have to smash. Hey! Come on, smash it. Oh. Okay, so when you're doing these defensive strokes, obviously it takes practice. Try to know when to counter attack. So meaning, as the more you practice this, you'll find the right timing to counter attack and then try and get back into the table. But you must practice these three strokes and in time you'll be able to incorporate them into your game when necessary. Another little bonus tip for you is to try and get the ball to bounce nice and deep in all three. If the ball did bounce as deep, then you're forcing the opponent away from the table, giving you the opportunity to come back in. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Keep uh, subscribing, keep the support, and we'll see you on the next video.